Hi, my name is Tony Santo and I'm a large format photographer. This video is all about my second trip to Death Valley National Park during the Superbloom. Stay tuned to come along on this adventure. The 2016 Superbloom at Death Valley National Park attracted many visitors from a variety of locations. While living in North Carolina, my wife and I were fortunate to have met a close friend of ours, Kathy, whom is an extraordinarily talented wedding, portrait, and landscape photographer. Given her passion for Death Valley, once she heard about the Superbloom, she hopped on an airplane and flew into Las Vegas for an adventure to see a rare event. So the day after she flew in, we packed up our camera gear and headed out. Along the way, Kathy stopped to pose with some friendly but wild burrows. It's always exciting when you cross over into California from Nevada, a good sign that it is not much farther to Death Valley National Park. Of course, no trip would be complete without a fun portrait in front of a National Park sign. Given that it had only been four days since my last visit to Death Valley National Park, and I felt comfortable with the variety of scenes I was able to photograph on my previous trip, I didn't have any particular shots in mind that I wanted to work towards on this trip. Oblivious to the significance of the number 111 from my previous trip, I felt privileged to have witnessed the super bloom for a second time. I suppose this is one of the benefits to waiting months before developing my film. Besides, I wanted my photographer friend to enjoy her time and create images of how the super bloom made her feel during her visit. So wherever Kathy felt compelled to go, that's where I went. It's a bit of a fun challenge to spontaneously find scenes and try to create a personally significant photograph without having a deliberate plan of action. As we approached Furnace Creek, we headed down Badwater Road and stopped at various locations to shoot among the wildflowers. The lighting was soft owing to the overcast conditions, but there was sufficient wind blowing the wildflowers around that prohibited me from shooting large format because of the slow shutter speeds often required by this type of camera. Since it was becoming more apparent that sunset was not going to produce the kinds of colors that we were hoping for as a backdrop for the wildflowers, we headed over to Badwater Basin and hiked out onto the salt flats. While this wasn't the most colorful sunset I've seen at Death Valley National Park, we did make the most of our time and created some fun blue owl portraits. As we made our way to nearby Beatty, Nevada, we stopped at a ghost town named Rhyolite to use as a backdrop for Kathy's celestial photography. The skies had cleared just enough to create an eerie sky from an abandoned mining town. 
The next morning we headed out before sunrise to the wildflower patches off of Badwater Road in hopes of catching a colorful sky. The only question was whether or not the thick cloud cover would actually dissipate. Unfortunately, the sky was completely clear, but we did manage to make the best of it and had fun shooting the rare desert flora. After several hours, we then decided to hike back out to Badwater Basin for more photographic fun. We found several pieces of driftwood out on the salt flats that made for a nice foreground element. Finding random pieces of dead plant material is highly unusual for this area. As we were leaving the park, the temperature was warming up from what had been a pretty chilly morning. On the drive back to Las Vegas, we saw another rare sight, a DeLorean replica from the Back to the Future movie trilogy. Oliver and Terry Holler drive their DeLorean across the country to raise awareness for Parkinson's disease. This is a chronic and progressive disease that results from the degeneration of dopamine secreting neurons in the brain. Minutes later, we also saw this, a tiny house RV. You just never know what you're going to encounter when you travel. I wonder how long it will be until the next super bloom flourishes. Well, as always, thanks for watching. videos educational or enjoy watching them for the entertainment value, please consider supporting me so that I can continue to produce new content ad-free. By subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos with your friends, or submitting a monetary donation in the amount of the value you've received by watching my videos, you will help me deliver the quality educational photography content you love. Thanks in advance for your support.